The Ansoff Matrix is one of the most widely taught analysis frameworks by business schools around the world. Sometimes referred to as the product market expansion grid, it's a two by two framework. It helps stakeholders visualize the relative attractiveness and risk between growth strategies that are commonly employed by management teams of product-based businesses. The matrix plots products on the x-axis and markets on the y. It asserts that a business can either use existing or new products and can deploy them into existing or new markets. These are, in essence, the only levers a management team can pull to achieve growth. For context, markets could mean a physical geography like the Eurozone, it could also mean a target market, perhaps a demographic, like men aged 25 to 35. The strategies are market penetration, market development, product development, and diversification. Market penetration is increasing sales of existing products into existing markets. A common example is telecommunications. These firms are notorious for undercutting one another to gain greater domestic market share using introductory rates and other promotional efforts to attract customers away from competitors. Market development is when management teams seek to sell existing products into new markets. Consider a clothing brand that's popular in North America, looking to start selling into the European market. The product development growth strategy is where management teams look to create new products, then sell them into existing markets. Successful product development initiatives sometimes play on brand loyalty like Apple creating AirPods. This was a new product, but it was widely embraced by a very loyal, existing customer base. Diversification, on the other hand, is when a firm looks to create an altogether new product for an altogether new market. This is the riskiest of the four strategies, since successful execution requires both product and market development.